Another episode of T-Rex Life. So as you can see, there has been a change, a drastic one. The lands, which I warned you about, it was fall, and fall means winter. This now has happened. It is now winter. Snow has come upon the island. Most of the dinosaurs have left, but a few of the herbivores have stayed to get of the, some of the last pick. The herbivores over here um, are getting the more green ones. Ah, I'm other Ankylosaurus and her baby. Ah, trying to feast on some moldy leaves. So does a juvenile Styracosaurus. But little do they know, they're being stalked. Acrocanthosaurus is to stay knowing that it can feast on the frozen bodies of the herbivores or the ones that stayed. And it is a hamster. The unsuspecting dinos don't even notice. I go get the door started! Ah, knocking the mother's ankle stores down. He meant to go for the baby, but went for the mother instead. Using her tail, go eat, slashes it off! Ah, ah, knocked down in the snow, the ankle can't the source. Well, not back down. Ah, ah, knocking the other down, he does a big wound in the neck. Baby ah, watches its mother die. And Ally! Ah, Brachosaurus ah, tries to hide in the foliage. And successfully does so. The Aquacanthosaurus begins to feast. As we move toward the recognized some greeny. It's been a few months since that attack up from Red Eye. And he knows Fox Teeth is dead. And he doesn't know where his babies are, so he's been hanging out at the nest. He's trying to sleep, but. It's not that easy when it's freezing temperatures. But then, yeah, a call awakes him. He stops over to see a baby. Now, if I didn't see, tell you guys, there was an egg the greenie kept noticing. Didn't hatch, it was as cold as ice, and this is the egg now, it just hatched. So this is why he's been at the nest. I should have known that. The baby. Get something nudges his father. He already knows that this is the Rex that he's gonna depend on. Greenie needs to hunt for him and his baby. But the thing is, prey is scarce. Farther north, we see a dinosaur that is rare on the island. It's like Krylosaurus. They only come out in the winter because a long time ago they lived in the Arctic and it appears to be stalking a tiger and a now, usually Pylophosaurus had larger prey, but the larger dinosaurs have gone away. And you'll know the prey is there, and there's other predators already feasting. <sighs> the Pylophosaurus, though, fixes its gaze on an easier target. A young baby Brachiosaurus has ventured way too far from its herd, which the herd has now migrated away, sadly. The Cryolophosaurus attack! Using his claws, he knocks the baby to the ground and snaps its neck. It's dead, and the polar dinosaur, he has to dig in. Greeny will need to leave his baby behind, but risk having it killed by another predator. He's going out to the plains to look for any suitable meals. So, there probably aren't many suitable meals out here. So he's gonna see if he can find them. There's one. It's a dead Spinosaurus that froze, that froze and a little Demetriot on it scavenging on it. It's an easy meal for Greenie. We can all agree on that one. Greenie moves in. Ah! It ambushes Demetriot. The Demetriot. He'd rather have brush feet than a carcass, which is actually a week old. So he goes and brings the carcass back to his son. Then he drops the carcass in front of his baby and slumps down. Call this baby Flame. That's what the color in. Flame begins to be. Because of the cold temperatures, this isn't the best time to be raising a baby. And Greedy knows it. Definitely, 
Red Eye and his mate, Tigerback, are enraged that they lost their baby in the body, the rotting body of Foxtooth. This thing right here, soon it will be bone. They set her there as a reminder of what they did. And Red Eye roars. His mate comes and roars by his side. Speaking of babies, as I said, we are going to travel across the rock desert. Now, now, normally it's hot, but now it's the opposite. And one of Greenie's babies is alive. Now, do you remember she escaped to the rock desert? And she only just crossed it. Yes, she's been traveling in the rock desert for three months now without any food. And that she reaches a tree. This is actually the same tree the yellow stripe and firefoot rested at in Spinosaurus life. And yeah, she's been following a scent across the rock desert. And she, she thinks she's got it. It's a young Triceratops who lost his mother and is churning for food. This should be easy, but she's never hunted before. She's gonna try it now. She swiftly ah, charges! She's knocking the Ceratopsy into the ground. Snapping its neck, she begins to eat frozen prey. She looks for the tree, but it's way different from when Spyfroids um, yellow stripe rest. It is now covered in snow and not a resting place anymore. So, after she's eaten her fill, she moves on, searching for a suitable place. Feet away, a baryonyx is trying to dig in the snow. The young feisty polar bear comes to watch him. He's hungry and seeing the cubs, he charges! One darts away! <laughs> he has killed the cub and he begins to feast. Silvering watches, baffled as the dinosaur eats her brother that she once played with. The brother that she once did everything with. But surprised that he could just be dead right now. Acrocanthosaurus has finished eating and moves off. Tiger and her cub start to move. The Crylophosaurus, after eating this dinosaur, is full and goes off. So lost shark caught in the attack and doesn't know where she is. does not know what his father is doing, but rests. Greedy knows this nest isn't safe anymore. Gets his baby, tells his baby to follow him. His baby will always follow Greedy. So Greedy stomps off, and the baby begins to move with him. But halfway there, the Crylophosaurus sees the Greeny ah, roars. Ah. Now the Crylophosaurus finished its spell, ah. but does not want a T Rex coming here. This is actually his land. Greeny wasn't here, but when he comes out in the winter, this is his land, and he's angry. Crylophosaurus ah. sees the little baby watching. She can't resist. And uh, tries to pound! The greenie? Uh, uh, the uh, the Crylophosaurus now turns his attention to Greenie. Uh, 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 dinosaur attack! Uh, getting a claw hold on Gre Greenie did the same thing with Shark Claw. Remember that episode? And he throws it off! Uh, Flame can only watch.
much as this happens. It's a little not happy until... Okay, I'm sorry, I spotted this and... Ah! Has not eaten the spill yet, surprisingly. Ah! Ah! Knocks down Blaine. Greedy quickly sees this and... Ah! Charges! Yes! The Aquacanthosaurus and Greedy um, tells Flame to get close to Flame. I'll bet he's scared. He stands close to Greedy. Shoot the two set off. Thank you for watching this episode of T Rex Life. And um, thanks for watching, and I will make a new one soon. Sorry, it's been a while. I've, school is kind of interfering a lot, and I've had a lot to do. And so, bye! bye.